Okay. Now I'm going to show my PowerPoint. Oh, wait, I have to share my screen. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, y'all can see that, right? Okay, so today we're gonna to be talking about patterns and we're gonna spend a lot of time making them. So first, today's goals are to look at patterns, both AB patterns and ABC patterns. Then we're going to create some, some patterns with blocks, stamps, and chain links. And we're just, the whole day, we're gonna be talk, creating and talking about repeating patterns. So before we begin, let's talk about our behavior expectations, which are the same as always, to keep our hands and feet to ourselves, to keep our ears open for directions, to keep our mouths closed when others are talking, and to raise our hand when we have something to share. So what are patterns? Does anybody know what a pattern is? When something looks the same. When something looks the same, yeah, and it keeps repeating maybe. Where have you ever seen a pattern? On my shirts. On shirts, exactly. Actually, I'm wearing a shirt that has a pattern. It's white, blue, white, blue. That's an AB pattern. Ashley, did you have something to share? I was going to say on my shirt too. Shirts, yeah. And my nose has a pattern on it. Yeah, shirts, notebooks, and any, anytime you go to the store, I'm sure you'll see patterns. So to start, um, we're also on the carpet, by the way. Um, we're gonna use our cubes. So you all have cubes in your bins. So you'll already have brought those over, by the way. Um, and we're gonna use these blocks to create patterns. So the first pattern that we're gonna talk about is an A, B pattern. Okay, so I'm gonna make a pattern first to show you. Does anybody know what an A, B pattern is? If you had to take a guess, that's okay. It's two, two different colors and it alternates. Exactly, two different colors. So you have a, a color for A and a color for B. Now, if A is red in my pattern and B is blue in my pattern, could the next color be blue? No. No, because A is already red and B is blue. So if it's A, B, what color would come next? Red. 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 And then what color? Blue. blue. Blue, exactly right. So A, B, A, B. Now you all are gonna take your cubes and create your own A, B pattern. So we're gonna pretend like you just did that. So Ashlyn, what two colors did you pick for your AB pattern? Um, yellow and purple. Yellow and purple. So if you had to say what color, like what order your pattern went, what would it look like? It went yellow, then purple, yellow, purple, yellow, purple. Good job. And Emily, what colors did you use for your AB pattern? Green and yellow. Green and yellow. And if you had to say what pattern yours looks like, what, how would it go? Yellow, green, yellow, green. Great job. And what was your A in your pattern? Yellow. Yeah, good job. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna keep using our cubes. You can take yours apart like I took mine apart. And we're gonna talk about ABC patterns. So this time ABC has three different letters. So we have to have three different colors. So the first color I chose for A is red, B is blue and C is pink. So if it's ABC and it repeats itself, another ABC, what color would come next? Red. Red, so it's red, blue, pink. Red, and then Ashlyn, what would come next? Blue. Blue, and then I'll finish it. So red, blue, pink, red, blue, pink. So now you all are gonna take your cubes and create a pattern that's A, B, C. And remember, A and B and C all have to be different colors. So create your own. So Ashlyn, what three colors did you pick for your A, B, C pattern? Um, I picked purple, blue, and yellow. Purple, blue, and yellow. So does yours look like 
Purple, blue, yellow. Purple, blue, yellow. Yes. Good job. What is your A if it's purple, blue, yellow? Purple. Good job. Okay, Emily, what three colors did you use? Blue, green, and purple. Blue, green, and purple. So does yours look like blue, green, purple, blue, green, purple? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if your pattern is blue, green, purple, what is your C? Purple. Purple, yes, because that becomes the third, that's the third color you used. Okay, so now we're all gonna go back to our seats and we're gonna start our next activity, which is with stamps. So on your desk, you have some stamps and you have our sentence strips that we always use. On one side of your sentence strip, it says A, B, and on the other side of your sentence strip, it says A, B, C. So on one side, for the A, B side, how many stamps are you gonna use? Two. Two, and you're gonna pick one for your A and one for your B, and you'll keep repeating. So go ahead and do that, and once you finish, raise your hand and I'll come around and check. So pretend like you did that. <laughs> okay, now you can flip it over to the other side for A, B, C pattern. Remember that there's three different letters, so there has to be, Ashlyn, how many different stamps? Oh, you froze. Three, yeah, good. <laughs> three different stamps for three different letters. So you can go ahead and use any stamp you want and create an ABC pattern on the other side. Now when you're finished, I'll take your ABC pattern and AB pattern and I'll hang it up on your like section of the board. So then we're all going to go to the carpet and we're going to play with chain links. Now these are little chains and you can connect them and disconnect them however you want. So I'm gonna pass out little cards that look like this to all the students and on one card, it will say A, B and on another card, it might say A, B, C. It's like a little game now. So you have to be kind of quick. I'll give each of you a card and you're gonna look at it and say, okay, my card is A, B. So how many colors would you use for A, B? Two, yes. And if you have an A, B, C card, how many colors are you gonna use? Three. Three. Good job. So look at your card and you're going to have three minutes to find your pieces and create your pattern. And if you, once the timer goes off, that's it. You just go back to your spot and we'll, we'll look at the patterns that we've created. Okay. So I set a timer and then it ends. Okay. So now each of you get to go around and share your pattern. So if I was playing and I had an AB card, I would show you my chain links and I would say, my A is blue, my B is yellow. So my pattern was an AB pattern. So it was blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow. And I'd show everybody. And then we'd all go around and do the same thing. So Ashlyn, what two colors did you use for your AB pattern? I used red and blue. Red and blue. So what does your pattern look like? It goes red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. Good job. And Emily, you got an ABC card. So what three colors did you use for your pattern? I used blue, green, or I used blue, green, and yellow. Blue, green, and yellow. Perfect. So what does your pattern look like? Blue, green, yellow, blue, green, yellow. Perfect. All right. So now that we're done, we got to clean up all of our chain links and put them back in the bin. And we're all going to stay at the carpet and we're going to talk. So what is a pattern now that we've done all of our activities? What is a pattern? When a color repeats after another color. Right. So when something keeps on repeating. And then what did you like about making patterns, Ashlyn? What was your favorite part? Um, I liked playing with the chain links. I thought it was fun chain links. Yeah, that is fun because you get to make whatever you want. Okay, so that's the end of that. Now I'll show y'all my um, little overview. So let's see. So I already did my hook, which was just talking before 
um, my before, which was the cubes at the um, carpet. And that was sort of me like able to um, like show whatever it's called, mentor or whatever you want to call it, um, show the students what they're supposed to do. Um, and then I like ask them questions about, you know, like could blue come after another blue in an AV pattern? Like I asked y'all and they would say no. And then the during activity was the stamps. And I put that as like the during because it was sort of um, more independent work. And like, then I could come around and make sure. So like they would do an AB side themselves and then they raise their hand so that I can come make sure that they're doing an AB pattern. And if they did it wrong, then we could like fix it. And then they do the ABC side again by themselves, which is sort of like a for informal assessment, I guess, so that I can see if they got the ABC pattern down or not. Um, after we did the game, which is again, sort of like just them getting more practice with creating those two types of patterns. Um, and then to close, we just talked about patterns again and what they liked the best. Um, differentiation. Um, for representation, I had like multiple forms of manipulatives. They were constantly doing something. Uh, expression, they had a lot of time to like talk about what they created and what a pattern was. And then engagement, again, they have a lot of time to talk to each other, um, but they also have a lot of time to think individually like at their seat about what they created and how they created it. So formative assessment, I said like, I do not really need an extra assessment at the end because I took like, the stamps as the formal assess formative assessment, I guess, um, because I'm able to see like what they were doing. And also I think that this like activity or like this lesson would be sort of at the beginning. Cause obviously there's a lot more types of patterns like ABB, ABBC, like ABCD, whatever. Um, so like, as they got used to doing patterns we would add another one in. Um, and then at the end I would probably do more of a form formative assessment where like they could color in blocks or something like that. Um, if I had time left over, I would have the state students trade cards. So like Ashlyn got AB and Emily got ABC. So then at the end for the chain links, they would switch and then then create an ABC and an AB. Um, and then if I do not have any more time, I can take the chain link part out because that's sort of more of a game rather than like, I mean, it is instructional because it's more practice, but I think the stamps and the um, original like beginning lesson are more important. Um, I think that's it. I don't, I don't think I said anything about the standards before, but the standards were um, for math, which was just to like identify, describe, extend, create patterns. And then I incorporated English into it as well because they're talking about the patterns and like using vocabulary that they might not have used before. Um, and then before doing the lesson, all they would have to know is um, basic colors and like basic letters, like A, B, C, A, B. They don't actually have to know what they mean, but they have to know colors. So yeah, that's it. That was so good. That was really good. I think a good, something you did really good was um, just being engaged, like keeping students engaged in the beginning, like asking them, okay, so what? like trying to check their thinking process throughout. I think that was a good job. Thank you. Yeah, um, for strengths, um, I would say like you were very like engaged, like engaging throughout the whole entire thing and your energy was just like really positive and high. So it, it was really engaging. And I liked all of the activities throughout and it was very like hands-on with all the manipulatives and um, yeah, I just really liked it. But then for just one weakness, I would just watch like with the stamps or whatever and just provide like extra supports with that. Cause I could see it getting like really messy mm -hmm. um, and the students could just go crazy with them. But that's the only thing I had like saw for a weakness, but I really liked it. It was really cool. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'll stop recording now. <laughs>